ladies and gentlemen, welcome to today's video. My name is Razel and today we are talking about expensive things that are totally worth the money. We all like to be, or at the very least, try to be smart with our money, but that doesn't mean that we choose the cheapest option. Being smart with your money doesn't necessarily mean choosing the least expensive thing available. In fact, sometimes the most expensive item or experience can be the one that is most worth your money, while the cheapest can be the biggest waste. In this video, I'm going to give you six things that you should never feel bad about spending on. Six things you should splurge on. Six pricey, expensive things that are completely well worth the money. Of course, I understand that we all have different priorities as we value things differently. What you value is not what I value, and what I value is not what you value. And in most cases, we will spend money on things according to what we consider valuable to us. This goes without saying that oftentimes we end up spending on things we really don't care about at the expense of things we care about. We do this even without realizing it. For me, before I spend on something, I ask myself, does it add value to my life? I first weigh this because I need to understand what value it brings or adds to me. I need to know, does it save me time? Does it make me feel confident or will I remember that experience for a very long time? If it ticks one option, I'm good to go. However, there are certain things, however way you look at them, they will add value to your life even if they cost a lot of money. This is because the return on investment they will bring to your life will be massive, will be humongous. Without further ado, let's look at these six expensive things that are well worth the money. But it doesn't matter how much you spend on them. They will bring back massive returns on investment to you even without you realizing it. Okay, let's jump right in. Number one is education. Education is a definite worthwhile investment. Getting higher education is so worth it and worth spending money on. It's an investment in yourself. Because when you're increasing your knowledge, you increase your human capital, the amount of money you're able to command. Besides, learning new things keeps life interesting and exciting. So, you got to remember that all the money you spent on educating yourself is not gone, but it has increased your worth. Every penny spent on educating yourself is not wasted, it's a penny well spent. If at all, education is the only thing which comes close to guaranteeing you success. For me, even if I have a diploma, two degrees and a master's, I still educate myself every night watching YouTube videos and I don't even pay for it. Seriously, if you really, really want to educate yourself, there is education everywhere and it's free. It's on the internet, it's on Google, it's on YouTube, it's in the library, it's everywhere. All you have to do is to browse the subject of your interest, is to walk one mile to the library. Even if it's two miles, visit more often. Education is a gift that lasts a lifetime. It allows you to keep growing. It gives you credibility. It also builds a solid foundation for further learning. Invest in your education to the point of excellency. Bill Gates didn't finish college, but he invested more effort into his education than most people ever will. He started his business and learned on his own. Abraham Lincoln self-taught with countless hours of reading at a far greater effort than most people will ever know. He then became a self-taught lawyer and passed the bar exams and later, of course, became the president of the USA. Either way you look at it, education is wealth in itself and it brings more wealth. So consider investing in it. The second thing that you'll never regret spending your money on is travel. Travel is the only thing that you can buy that makes you richer in experiences, friends, knowledge, wisdom, and memories. So it's well worth the money. It teaches you not to be attached to anything or anybody. It teaches you acceptance, self-reflection, and most importantly, it teaches you to live in the present. And because who doesn't like to travel? Money spent on travel is money well spent. Travel can be good for your overall being. It brings joy. It makes us happy. And also, it's been scientifically proven that people who spend their money on experiences rather than things are happier. Like me. And because experiences create memories that last a lifetime even long after they have passed. They create lasting relationships and bonds and you get to reflect and realize that the world is a big and beautiful place. By the way, this ties into education as well. When you travel, your eyes are open to everything that you're ignorant about in this world. You learn about history, culture, religions, architecture, art, food, and people. You learn what binds us together as humans and what tears us apart as enemies. You learn to face your fears head on and topple them with compassion and love. You also learn about all the historical events that were never covered in your history class. And you learn all about the wonderful souls that exist across the globe. Travel puts everything into perspective. 
You stop complaining about small things like too much salt in my food or my water not being cold enough. Seeing how others live teaches you to think of how fortunate you are and also makes you to strive for more. I love traveling and if I could afford it, I could travel more because life is too short. Not traveling, in my opinion, is simply too high of a price to pay. This world is big and beautiful and unique and interesting and magical. If I don't go and explore it, I have lost so much more than I ever dared to dream about. I want to live. I want to live this precious life that has been given to me. Nothing, absolutely nothing makes me feel more alive, grateful and connected than traveling. And to me, that is worth infinitely more than a savings account filled with millions. The third thing that you should consider investing in more is a mattress. It's well worth the money. It's well worth the money because of the comfort that you get from it. A good mattress is essential for a great night's sleep and sleep is essential to good health. So it makes sense to invest in a mattress that provides maximum comfort. Even if you can't get a suggested seven to nine hours sleep at night, at least you get to be lying in a comfy bed. I spend five to eight hours a night on my mattress and if I don't sleep, I'll be cranky, moody and it will affect every other part of my life. I won't be productive at work, I won't be productive at home, basically I will have a rubbish long day. Having a good mattress is good for your health and it will pay for itself in the long run. It's well worth the money. The fourth thing that's well worth the money are clothes that fit well. Clothes that fit well are so worth it. Oof. If your clothes don't fit well, they won't look good regardless of which designer made them. So, instead of thinking about what brands to splurge on, think about how you can make something a custom fit. How your dress or shirt fits is much more important than the name on the tag. So no matter what price you pay for your clothes, make sure they fit. That means paying for alterations such as shortened sleeves or pant legs. It makes a huge difference. Well-fitting clothes make you look sharp and confident. The fifth thing that you need to spend on if you have the money are services that save you time. If you have a time-sensitive job, it may be a good idea to outsource some of the services you need. It could be well worth it. Things like plumbing, things to do with electricity, construction, fixing computers, all these things can be outsourced. Rather than costing you time, you're trying to fidget with them. Splurge on services that help you save time because time is the only thing that you cannot get back. Other services you can outsource include cleaning, painting, general house repair. They'll make your life so much easier. If you are at the point in your life where time is your most valuable resource, it makes a lot of sense. For example, hire someone to clean out your house once a month. Pay other people to do the things that would slow you down. Of course, this will depend on your budget. But if you have enough money, why not? When you outsource, you save your time by letting someone more experienced with knowledge and skills to handle the work while you do other things that can bring you more value and joy. The last thing that you should definitely spend more money on is health. How much money is your health worth? You might be thinking I'm kind of dramatic, but the truth is that your health is worth all the money in the world. Therefore, you should never feel bad about investing in your health. It's the most important expense. Your physical health and mental health provide tons of value to you, so they are worth investing in. If you're not healthy, if you are sick, there is nothing you can do. You cannot work, you cannot travel, you can't go to college. Basically, you can't do all the other stuff I mentioned earlier. Our body is the single most precious asset we have in life. Yet few people look after it. Why do we exercise to maintain our bodies? In other words, we exercise so that our bodies stay the same for longer and longer. You can blame whatever or whoever you want, but it is your responsibility to take care of your health. You have the power to make daily decisions and to guide the course of your life. The goal is to make exercise into a habit and discipline and not just a quick fix. I know it's hard to see the consequences 10 to 20 years ahead, but the curtain will one day fall and regret will come knocking on your door. By then it might be too late. Hence, you need to invest in your health. It lies upon you to make the decisions of what tomorrow is going to be. Brush off the dust, get motivated, be consistent with your actions, and treat your body with respect. When the time comes, be the one to have said, I lived my life to the fullest and I did the things that truly made me happy. Then breathe and move with intent. Service spending is about knowing your money and staying on track within your budget. While budgeting sometimes feels restrictive, splashing on things that add value to your life are so worth it. Why? Because you're worth it. You, looking at me right now, you are worth it. So splash, baby, splash. Of course, first make sure you're able to easily afford your living expenses before you go on splashing. Now that we've come to the end of this video, if you haven't done so already, please go ahead and subscribe to this channel so that I can continue producing more great material for you. I hope you know the things that you need to splash on. Not everything is the same. Some things are much more worth spending on than others, especially education and health. So spend on these ones with all you got. Until next time, stay
stay safe and i shall see you in the next video